Hello again and welcome to another tutorial on how to draw iconic faces. Uh, before we start of course, if you haven't already subscribed, could you do that please? Thank you very much. And also, ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well the iconic face today is uh, old Squidhead himself, <laughs> Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going to start off with the top of his hat, which comes down into a big V shape like this. And this left hand side curved over like that, okay? And then you bring this line down and this one uh, round and a curve like that, back towards his face. Bring this one down and this big curve like that, okay? And the top of his hat has edging, which you can draw in like this. Now both his hat and his coat are encrusted with little limpets and shells and so on, little sea creatures, which we'll draw in later, okay? But what you can do is you just uh, draw them like that, you know? And obviously there are going to be quite a few all over the hat here, usually around the edge, okay? And the actual bit that comes around his head it's a curve just below there, comes down, and then you see the edge of his face appearing, coming in there with his cheekbone sticking out, like that, okay? And we're bringing down the rest of the hat and the curve, like that, come in, okay? Now we go down to his eyes, pretty mean looking, you know, his, you have his eyebrows curving up like that, Of course, his face is all kind of mottled and wrinkled. So what I do is, is put a few of the, the lines in to suggest where I'm going to do these lines. And then underneath here, his little eye, his little beady eyes looking out. <laughs> Carved like that. Okay. And draw the pupils fairly small in the centre, leave a, a bit of white around about them, okay? There's going to be quite a bit of shading on this anyway. And of course you get these kind of wrinkles underneath his eyes as well, quite deep. And on this side, we have the eye with the double line of the eyelid there. That slows up slightly. And a small pupil in the centre there. And again, the wrinkles underneath. And you're going to have some shading here, so I just draw the rough shape of the dark shading just now, okay? And also coming in under here. And if we're down the front, there's a nose, he's got this shape which comes out and branches into two long kind of tentacle shapes coming down. And his nose. His mouth can peer in about here, okay? Can't really see the top lip, but what you can see is the bottom lip. A slight curve like that. Got a full bottom lip. And then this comes down, almost like a huge moustache, <laughs> you know, curving down like that on the other side. And this curving pipe shape coming down like that. And this one too. Now lots of the tentacles, of course, um, coming down from just about here and also from the other side. Uh, so let's draw a couple of these in here. There's one actually that's quite interesting because it is actually, it's a short one and it appears about here, yeah, that's right. And it's almost as if it's cut off, but in actual fact, yeah, it's a little breathing tube that Bill Nye uses once the mask is on. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people know that. <laughs> there we go, now we come down here, and this is just the tip of a short one coming just beneath that cut tube there. They've got the look of worms about them, so you can put these kind of lines in, we'll shade them a bit later on. Okay, and this line comes down here, and there's another one coming in just here. So we'll take these down so far just now. Uh, another one coming in here behind his cheek, appearing in a curve, and then to join this one here. 
and then just tune a little bit shading under here, this area, which I'll do in a second. Um, the tune comes down to about here. And there's some shading of that as well. But there are also two main tentacle shapes come down from his chin, which come down like this. Okay. And this one here will curve across. So you'll see part of this, but most of this one as it curves down. And there's some more tentacles appearing from out here. There's a broad one here. And then a bit of a gap and another one coming in about here. And a small one kind of cutting across there. It's curved round and does that kind of thing. This one here curves down behind that. Goes in here. And we're moving down now, there's another one coming in here, a fine one. And a small one sticking out there, and then you see your shoulder appearing just in here. And um, right about here, we also have a couple of squirmy little shapes coming in. A big one coming in there, like that. And the one below it, which kind of doubles over itself, as that sort of thing. Okay, and right, a big one comes in from about here. And this one has got the, the sucker shapes on it, so if you want to draw them like that, almost like the castellations in a battlement, you know? And that comes down. Like that. Now. Okay. And we're putting lots more detail on later. Right, let's move down to these ones now. Okay, for the outside shape of this one, the inside shape has the sucker shapes on it, like that. So bring them down all around the outside and then curve it around like that. And this shape underneath here curves in and then out and down like that. And the thickness varies, sometimes it bulges out slightly and gets a bit thinner again. And then this big shape here uh, that comes across there. Now this line here is wrong. So take that out just now. So this is curving across this big thick one, one of the main ones coming down here. That's curving across. Again, it's getting a bit thicker there. And then coming right down like that. And I'm adding as I go down, you know, um, the bits coming in here. Another one heading in there. A couple of wriggly ones in here. Okay, and this one here. Again, it gets a bit thinner, but then it kind of curves back in itself like that, and you've got the, the suction shapes on there, which kind of curves back there. And we have a couple in that space there, one coming in like that, and another one just behind it. This one disappears behind there. Okay, now a couple of squirmers coming in here. There's one about here that goes behind this one. And then we have this one appearing here again, in there. And then just behind this one, we have another coming out and curving around here. And that will curve right down there. There's another couple coming in here. In fact, there's one there that appears, but it's like that kind of skin fold shape there that comes down. And there's another one just underneath here, you know, that kind of thin membrane almost, you know, with another one starting there. And then above that, there's another one starting here. And this one that I started to draw comes across and cuts across like that. Okay. And these continue down, like that one, or continue that one right down. That's with the length that I want. So underneath here, we're gonna have this one coming down now. Curving back in, and we'll see some of the suction pads coming up there. Okay. Underneath here, we have this one coming down. 
again turning around, coming back up, and again we can see the suction pads coming up all the way to the, about there. Uh, this one bulges out, is in, out and in again, and then to a, a small point. And this one, let's see, there's a big one coming down here. Uh, actually, that's a smallish one, which is fat there getting thinner. Like that. But there's one coming in from underneath that membrane there, which curves and comes across like that. And as it comes up, you'll see the outside edge like that of the suckers. But there's a double line here, so you have another line coming down like that. Okay. And up here, we have another one coming in just about here. It's a writhing nest of snakes, isn't it? The whole idea. And you've got one here. And I think I've got them all. I mean, I'll check later just to see that um, I've missed any. I've actually got, I have missed one. One is coming in just here, like that. And that one comes in down behind there. And then another one coming in behind there like that. And his shoulder, these are draped over his shoulder, so his shoulder appears about here. And another bit of his shoulder there, and that of course is also encrusted with shell, so you can draw that kind of shape on the top. A bit of his jacket coming in there, his cloak, another line from his cloak here, there's a big kind of shape here. Now there's kind of stitching shapes of his jacket coming in there. But all of this again is encrusted with the shells. Now I'm going to put a lot of detail on that and I'll catch you when I've done it. Okay. Okay, I've uh, encrusted him in the little shells, you know, all around his hat there on his jacket. So what I'm going to do now is do a bit of uh, shading. So I want to imagine that light is coming in from above. So it's catching the front of this appendage here, and also this part of his hat, a bit lighter than this part. This is this darker, because this is curling under, of course, you know. This part of the hat goes in and then curls under like that. So what you do is, imagine the line coming down about here, where the curve occurs, and right down to it there. And up here it's quite dark. A wee bit light catching the edge there. So that kind of shape there is fairly dark. So I'm going to start down here and shade. Now what I can do is shade, rather than shade over the shells, shade around them just now. Because uh, I want to make them stand out a little, so I'll leave them white just now and then just shade them in a grey tone once I've done the very dark shading. So I'll shade right up there and catch you when I've done that. Okay, I've shaded in most of this dark bit here. And the transition from the very dark to this middle tone here, uh, you can soften it by just taking the weight off your pencil a bit as you come up and make that edge that a little bit lighter than the heavy shade I've been doing, okay? There's also a bit of a kind of um, dip here in his hat, which catches the light. Uh, it's almost like a crescent moon shape, see that in there? We need that light just now. And then we'll shade this other bit in here, uh, middle tone. Okay, I'm just moving down to the bottom now. And then just shade this uh, edging here in a bit lighter than that middle tone I've been using. Okay, I'll be sharpening up some of these lines later with a, a sudden beam. But for the moment, that's a rough idea of the shading of his hat. Okay, so I'll move down to his face now. And of course, underneath the hat, you get some shadow on his forehead. So, a bit of shading coming in, coming around like that. And a bit of deep shading coming in down towards these tentacles here and over that 
top. Remember, these are curved. And so the shad shading was over the top of them, like that. Okay, and just hurry up that line there a bit. And a bit more down here behind that one. And carving over that one there. Right, moving down to his eyes now. Now, under these brows, which are pulled down, quite dark in here. So, on this side of the eye, you get a really dark bit of shading right in there. Okay? And then less dark as it comes round and kind of slopes away. And then we get the line of the top of the eye coming in there with his little pupil. Remember to try and make it fairly small so there's a bit of light around about it. You get that slightly mad look, okay? <laughs> like that. And these wrinkles under his eyes. Deep wrinkles and then a bit of deeper shadow coming in. Here, like that. You get these lines. And along the ridge of his eye brows, you will leave a bit of light, okay? Because it's catching the light. But just above that, you'll get these lines going up towards his heart. You get these, like, frown lines coming in like that. See that right along the top. Now this eye, very dark underneath here again. And quite dark as it goes up to this corner here. Around the back of this eye. And that shading comes right down there. Now we have the pupil in there like that. Again dark shading under here. There's a deep bit of shading just here, and then above that, you get the light catching the edge of his cheekbone. So if you draw some shading coming around like that, and then going up underneath the eye, you get that kind of thing there. Okay? And it's very dark in here, with this tentacle coming down here. Okay, so let's move to the main tentacles now. Uh, I'll be putting all the little marks and, you know, blotches that you find on these things later on, but that's just how you would do it, you know. Now, this particular tentacle comes down like that, as I said, and above his mouth, again, there's a bit of reflected light there, so don't shade right down to that edge, leave a little gap, and then draw these kind of Bits of shading coming right round like that because you're going to get a wrinkle type lines coming out from all the way around. All right? And you get, say, that shading coming in there, which continues up the bridge of that, or the, <laughs> you call it the nose, that shape there. And then quite a heavy bit of shading coming down the left hand side there. But again, you're leaving a bit of edging white edging, a bit of reflected light coming down like that. So you get that kind of shape. Okay, underneath here you have the mouth, very dark, open there. There's some nice deep shading underneath and then the bottom lip. And deep shading under the bottom lip too. And also under the chin. And this bit here is in shadow, so you can do that. And a bit of shading in here. And also down here. Now it's very dark shading all down here in between these tentacles, okay? Right down here, in here, in here. So I'm going to shade all these in these gaps nice and dark. And I'll you can pick up when I've done that, okay? Okay, as you can see, I've filled in all those gaps between the tentacles, nice and dark. And I'm just going down onto the, what can be his cloak or his jacket. And here is the one crusted with shells and limpets, barnacles. I'm going around most of them. Doesn't matter if you go over some of them. I just leave some of them standing out, like that. And this is a 6B pencil I'm using, and it has 
flatten the tip as of any shading, so I'm using that flat tip to give that uh, almost like a smoky quality and a dark shape in there. And dark as it comes around here. I'll carry on doing that right along here. Okay, I've done that. A bit of sketchy lines in there. Make it uh, nice impressionistic. And moving up here now, remember I was talking about um, the blotches and the kind of marks on these tentacles. We can start doing that now. Um, as you come down, you know, so these main ones especially will have, before I put some shading in, yeah, I'm going to have all these kind of marks and scores and so on like that. I'll down it. So put them in first of all. Some of these smaller ones up here, um, you'll see more of the that kind of wrinkle lines going across like that. And also on his face, we have some shapes up here. That's right, coming then down to the tentacles there. Okay, I've done my little marks on his tentacles. Moving up to under the cheekbones now, we want a bit of shading in here. So this is where I start to put a uh, bit of shading on the face and also on the tentacles, make them more three-dimensional. So his cheekbones here, so you get this dark you know, shading part around the cheekbone and coming up like that with these lines going out. And as you come down here, you start to put a bit of shading on the tentacles. So as I said, you leave a bit of light coming down that side and carry on with this dark bit of shading coming down here. Like that, and this one too. And the light's going to be catching this bit here. So a wee bit of darkness under that bit. Like that, leave that light. And a bit, bit of shading on this. And down there, and then shade that in there. You want to do that for all of them. You know, these bits are lighter. This this sec kind of section here is lighter because the light's catching it, but as you come down, get a bit, bit darker. And as they kind of bend slightly, you'll get a bit of, like a knee almost, and you'll get a bit of shadow underneath it. Imagine that's the knee, and the shadow underneath another one bend, another bend here. So you get that, another one there, and so on. Let's do that with the rest. Okay, I've finished all that shading, and I'm going to move on to a 7B pencil now, and just to, to sharpen up some of these lines here, okay, and put some of the, uh, the darker bits of shading in a bit more heavily. So a bit more of a dark line up there. Okay, around here. Around here like that. And then perhaps outline this bit here. And a bit more dark shading in there. Nothing that up a bit. And any bits that you see which you feel should be a bit darker. You know, there may be a few more bits in here. Like that. And these bits could be darker. Perhaps bottom of the hat here. Again, the centre of these shells you could put uh, a little bit of dark in like that. And then a bit more heavy line there. Right, I just finished off by you know, darkening up some of these areas here and putting a bit more in the way of marks on the tentacles. But I think that gives you a good impression of uh, Davy Jones, old squid head. <laughs> okay, great character. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.